I'm joined now by senior writer and columnist for the Herald Sun, Patrick Carline, and Sky News host and Daily Telegraph's national affairs editor, Sky News regular James Morrow. Gents, welcome to the program. James, I'll start with you if I can. This uh, push by the CFMEU announced today for a super profits tax hitting some of our largest companies, all to be debated at Labor's upcoming national conference in August. CFMEU National Secretary Zach Smith says he wants to hit these big companies with a 40% tax on what he wants to call excess profits. Uh, these are companies, of course, with a turnover in excess of $100 million. Now, James, companies already pay tax on their profits. That's the law. If they're not profitable, they don't pay tax. If they're profitable, they do. So what's a super profit anyway? And when did, when did profit become a dirty word? I mean, if we don't have profitable companies, they're out of business and unprofitable companies don't employ anyone. So I don't understand the argument here. Well, it gets even worse than that, Peter. I mean, put aside the entirely not socialist rhetoric of determining what a super profit is and, you know, going and scooping out a bunch of that. Zach Smith's plan there was to take those money and put it into housing. Now, what does the C stand for in CFMEU? Construction. So this is entirely self-interested um, around his union and his union members. And then he goes on and says, and, you know, this will help us feed the, uh, fill the housing gap that's caused by immigration. But it's not migrants. Don't, don't blame migrants. Don't blame immigration. Keep those taps flooded. So it was really bizarre because on one level, it was just an incredibly socialist kind of using this sort of speech. But at the same time, he's running this very big money, big out of town uh, argument about immigration. It just didn't make any sense whatsoever, Peter.